Does brush size matter when picking up acrylic to get the right consistency? This is number eight versus number 12. Greg is gonna walk you through all of it right now. We've been getting a lot of inquiries on whether an eight or nine can pick up the same size pearl as a 12. Let me tell you, it is possible. I'm going to take you through the proper steps so that you can have just as much success with a smaller brush as a large one. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush, which is the Artistic Sculptor, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my Signature Series brush, and you could see how much wider the 12 is compared to the eight. When it comes to application, it has everything to do with the amount of liquid you hold in your brush. Let me explain. I'm gonna go ahead and take the smaller brush. I'm going to load my brush up with a lot of monomer. If I was to take the smaller brush and pull, as you can see, most of the monomer out, when I bounce into the surface, the largest size pearl I'm going to be able to pick up is this size. I'm gonna go ahead and set this right here. Now here's the thing. If I did the same thing with the larger brush and I pulled most of the liquid out, I'm going to end up pretty much with the same size pearl. So when it comes to larger beads, the only difference between the larger brush compared to the smaller brush is I don't have to tap that hard to hold the same amount of liquid inside. Watch, so if I take the larger brush and I get all that liquid, if I barely touch it against the rim, you're going to notice that if I bounce, it's going to absorb quite a large pearl. Now for me to achieve the same results as that larger brush, I have to be able to pick up a large amount of liquid and I have to tap off a very light amount. So again, I'm going to submerge my brush quite wet. I'm barely going to touch it. I need to make sure that this is completely flat. One, two, three, four, four bounces. Take a look at the size of this pearl. It is going to be the same size as this. In order for you to take the smaller brush and pick up the same amount as the larger brush, what I want you to do is I want you to be able to submerse it. You can see how it's dripping off the tip of the brush. And what I wanna be able to do is lightly touch it. So you can see how the tip of the brush is absolutely immersed in nail liquid. So when I bounce into the powder, bounce, 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 you're going to see that I'm able to pick up a really nice fluffy pearl with a small brush. The only advantage that you will have with a larger brush, if I was to do the same exact thing and barely touch it, I'm going to be able to pick up something slightly bigger as you can see. So again, the size of this pearl compared to the size of this pearl, is slightly bigger. But when it comes to control, you're going to be able to use the smaller brush to do overlays, to be able to sculpture the nail in the least amount of pearls. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna take my larger brush. I'm going to submerge it inside the nail liquid. I'm barely going to touch it. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to release. And again, you can see the consistency that I have. I can just barely touch the surface as the product runs down and overlays the whole entire surface in the least amount of effort. All I have to do when it gets to the edge is kind of hold the shape. And with the body of my brush, I'm going to be able to achieve a really beautiful overlay. This is really important, especially when you're doing design work. You wanna be able to lay one pearl at the back end and let it flow over the apex and into the tip. That way, you don't have to apply five or six pearls to achieve perfection and shape. 
let's go ahead and take the smaller brush and achieve the same results. Now I have to realize I'm working with a smaller body, so I have to make sure I load the brush up with a lot of liquid. As you guys can see, I'm literally submersing my brush all the way down. I'm kind of pressing it down to the bottom, pressing it all the way down to the bottom to really load it up. Once it drips off, I'm barely going to touch it. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I get myself a nice pearl, three, four, five, with the same count. You're going to notice again that I'm able to work around the perimeter of the nail. All I have to do is kind of lightly guide it into place. And again, once it gets down to the end, all I have to do is use the body to put it into form. But as you can see, I'm able to achieve the same results as my signature series brush. So remember, it's not the size of the brush that matters. It's the amount of liquid in the brush that's going to determine whether you're going to be able to pick up a larger size pearl. Just remember that these techniques can apply to any size brush. It's all about the amount of liquid, not the size of the brush. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To check out more, head right over here, and to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.